Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should check out how your report will display with the actual data being used from the data source using the preview function of Crystal Reports. To preview a report for the first time, select View from the menu bar and then choose Print Preview. You could also simply click the Print Preview button in the standard toolbar. Crystal Reports will then create a new tab named Preview where you can see the report and the associated data displayed. Once the Preview tab has been created, you can switch between the Design tab and the Preview tab in the future when you wish to view the data as it would be displayed within the report. Note that when you are viewing the Preview tab, you will see a set of buttons appear to the right of the displayed tabs. The first button that looks like two arrows circling each other will refresh the report's data by drawing the most recent information from the underlying data source when clicked. At the bottom of the report's preview, in the status bar, is the date and or time of the most recent refreshing of the report data. You can also click the button that looks like a page with a small X on it to stop pulling the underlying data for the report. And this stops the refreshing of the report data should it happen to take too long and you wish to simply preview the initial data that's been pulled. After those two buttons are a set of arrow buttons. You use these buttons to navigate through the preview of the data in the report. You can click the small left and right pointing arrows to navigate back and forth through the pages within the preview. You can click the buttons that look like the small left and right pointing arrows with a line next to them to jump to the first or last page in a report preview. You will also see a page numbering indicator between the sets of arrows in this bar. Page numbering is displayed in an X of Y format where X is the current page and Y is the total number of pages. Also note that Crystal Reports will only display a single formatted page at a time within the preview, so if you see a small plus sign next to the total page count, it means that there are still additional pages to display, but that Crystal has not yet rendered these pages, so the total page count is still unknown. You can simply click the Last Page button in this bar to jump to the end page to get the accurate page count if needed. If you would like to delete the Preview tab entirely, you can click the small X button in the Preview tab to close the report preview. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.